we're back. Oh, yeah. And I'm still not well. <coughs> if truth be told, it has only been three minutes since the Yeah, well, that's yeah, true. We filmed these back to back. So, yeah. um, okay. So, where are we today? We are in Mr. Vicky Land. We are. And we are continuing the kill it or cure it mm -hmm. kind of thing. Land of the Yellow Label. Mm hmm. With some hot gooseberry. Oh, yeah. <coughs> what do you think of when you think of gooseberries? What do I think of when I think mm. of gooseberries? Crumbles. Yeah. It's all the stuff of that I remember as puddings as a kid going out. We used to grow them and we used to go to the pick your own farms and pick gooseberries and mum used to make gooseberry falls and gooseberry crumbles and I should be playing Dvorak's New World Symphony in the background here, shall I? It could be, yeah. <laughs> I remember when all this were notebook fields. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> when I were a lad. <sighs> Dear. So, hot gooseberries. In the hot gooseberry we have half of the jar. 50% gooseberry. Oh, yeah. Mm. Some sugar. Some apples. Mm -hmm. Vinegar, ginger, some mustard. Okay. A little bit of salt and some spices. That's interesting. Now, Mr. Vicky, Mr. Adam Marks, puts this as warm on his heatometer. Um, he has a mild. Mm, I'm and not sure he, he does. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's got some stuff that's marked up as mild, honest. I've seen it. Um, so I'm going to guess that the spices may include chilli. I'm, yeah, it could be a little hint. I mean, there's Just mustard there which will give it a little bit. That didn't give the game away. You know, the, the hot yeah. gooseberry. Hmm. It's a beautiful colour because I, I think gooseberries, and especially with apples, you kind of like... You think a very green fruit, don't you? <gasps> Ooh. Now th okay. This smells very interesting. It does. It smells way more savoury than I was expecting. Trying to think what I'm getting here. Fenugreek, maybe? Yeah, I think it is fen it's fenugreek. I'm not sure if there's a little bit of cu cumin and coriander in. I'm terrible. Maybe a little bit of cumin in there. Mm. Def fenugreek I'm definitely for sure. getting fenugreek. Fenugreek for sure. Um, oh, that smells amazing. It does, doesn't it? Right, so, let's hold it up so you can see it. Get it in there. And you see there, it's got. A reasonably loose consistency. I'm just going to hold the, the lid underneath there. Mm. Um, so it's not like a set jam or anything. No, I mean you can see some like, in just it. Just hold the jar under it instead of your hand yeah. and then if it drips like it just did. <laughs> There's some big sort of chunks there which could be the apple, yeah. it could be the gooseberry. I know gooseberry tend to go quite pulpy, don't they? So, so let's get it. Mm. Definitely right with fenugreek. A little bit sour, a little yeah. bit sweet. You've got, I guess it's like the apples are going to give it a little bit of sweetness and the sugar. You've got that tartness that you get from get from the gooseberries. Mm. Um, you can pick out when you're eating gooseberry and eating apple because you've got that difference in the consistency with them both. And the ginger as well. There's mm. there's heat there. There is. So there's definitely chilli in there. Yeah, absolutely definitely chilli in there. But there's also that slightly different type of heat that you get from ginger. Yeah. That's more of a kind of like a a, a rising warmth rather than a, a heat, if that makes sense. 
So round here I'm getting the apples and the sugar. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the gooseberries here. Yeah. Like the tartness. Um, it's got a finish with the vinegar. Yeah. Ginger's on the, like the flat of my tongue. Yeah. And then you've got a little bit of mustard the there. Throat. I think there are mustard seeds in there. Yeah. Um, the chilli heat is kind of here for me. Like back of that throat, back of the throat. Yeah, kind just kind of. Mm. Just there. Just tickling my tonsils. Mm? Tickling my tonsils. But it's got a really nice jam kind of mm. texture and... and and feel and sweetness so it's actually it's, it's interesting because the the savory spices in there work so well with it do you know what i would put that with anything you'd use mango chutney yeah absolutely anything you would use mango chutney cheese curries dips um mm. it's it's got that, that kind of Indian spice flavour yeah, to it. but it would work with that. But it's not... It's not hot enough to hurt anyone. Mm -hmm. So you could put it in the middle of the table. Um, I mean, heat-wise, where would you put it? Okay, probably one, one and a half. Yeah, one for me. Um, so it is, it is fairly family friendly yeah and as long as you're not spooning it on you know if you're a non chili head and you're spooning it yeah. on you probably go oh this is really quite spicy yeah. you probably put it as maybe a th three but if it's just a four for a, a non chili head yeah and if it's just a little bit on a poppadom mm. or something like that you'd be absolutely yeah, if you're fine. having it with food i would also i would again glaze um some chicken or gammon with that mm. Because I kind of think it's got that that jammy, the sugariness, but you've got a little bit of tartness that when you've got a meat that can be quite salty or, but that takes well to sweet. I'm just wondering, because when I looked at this, I immediately went crumble. And I'm just wondering whether that would work in a crumble. I can't see any reason it wouldn't. Possibly. I mean, for me, I think... Uh, the, the It'd be quite a savoury crumble. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, the fenugreek for me would be the one thing that would probably dissuade me from... But then you've got the extra sugar in the crumble. Yeah. I well, reckon I that a jar of that will make its way into a crumble. The other thing that's just occurred to me is I can't think what it was that we, we had the other night when we were out for dinner that was like the it's almost like vermicelli in a like a spiced milk it's almost like an indian rice pudding for want of a better word right and a big dollop of that in the middle of that because that's quite a you know a sweet hot milk based milk based dish which is why i didn't have it which is why you didn't have it yeah <laughs> um but actually that mixed into to that would work because you've got some spices within that already stir well. it into a keema yeah yeah pretty much anything i think it's versatile definitely absolutely know, it was, it, as an ingredient i think the food something. would need to match the flavor profile yeah you know you, you couldn't go and well i suppose you could but you couldn't get a pizza and just it's funny actually as you said that i was like oh a tandoori pizza <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mean like a, you know, yeah, sort of covered in marinara sauce, that, yeah, that kind yeah. of Italian style pizza. I don't think it would go too well with that. No. Um, I think you'd get away with that with noodles. Get away with it with a mac and cheese or any other kind of just a sort of cheese sauce based yeah. pasta dish. We take it. Mm. Very interesting. Mm. Very I'm now good. I'm intrigued by the crumble thing. Mm. I'll have to give that a go. Mm. Right, check it out, mrvickies.co.uk, link is in description, he, well, set yourself about 10 minutes aside if you're going to visit his website, because there is a mountain mm -hmm. of products, um, 
absolutely unbelievable. You know, the range on there is really, really good. Yeah. So give yourself a little bit of time to have a, a thumb through there. Yeah. With the browse. So, uh, yeah, we've we not had anything that has been less than excellent from there. Right. And that's just another one to add to the list. <laughs> <sighs> it's getting to be a long list. Um, so, yeah, I think that's enough from us for now. So thank you ever so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Yeah.